On today's Glory Days, it's the fifth annual Glory Days Big Game Extravaganza. We've got a live studio audience, prizes to give away, and plenty of talk about Big Game tomorrow. And we'll talk to a number of NFL correspondents about both the Broncos and the Panthers, and we'll get their predictions about the game. And someone in our studio audience will win one million dollars. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Sammy Stone will host a trivia contest for the audience, and the lovely Sarah Martin will be roaming in Rovio, in Rovio Studios with a microphone all show long. So don't touch that mouse. The Glory Days Big Game Extravaganza starts right now. Eat Rovio. February 6, 2016, and you are watching the Glory Day Show with Bruce and Disco. My name is Paul Descofani. This is my good friend, Bruce Oler. Uh, Kyle Melnick and Eric McAuliffe are behind the glass. Sarah Martin from the Enravio Show, Divas on Demand, will be co-hosting with us today and talking to the live studio audience. Hey, there we go. Hey, As like the Enravio TV uh, Network idea. brings you the fifth annual Glory Day's Big Gave Extravaganza, where we broadcast live from Studio C and, what studio is that? A. Studio a. C and A Beautiful. in the great state of New York. Good morning, my bow-tied friend. You're looking good yourself, <laughs> my friend. You know, this is, this is kind of big for us. This is kind of exciting. We have a, have a live studio audience today. We're uh, giving away prizes, right? What are we giving away prizes to? Paramount? We're giving away prizes to the Paramount out here on Long Island. Uh, some shows, we're giving away t-shirts, there's a cake. And a million dollars. And a million dollars. <laughs> That's, to it's a blasphemous uh, rumor, I think. <laughs> yeah, well. It so, got people to come, otherwise they right. wouldn't have shown up. That's right. Apparently so, a million dollars isn't a lot of money anymore, so. But we can't call it no, it's really the, what the game is tomorrow, huh? Well, we can use the word Super Bowl. If we're a news organization. If we're a news organization. Okay. I don't know if we qualify. I don't think we do. But that's the official Super Bowl logo that is designated for commercial use. Okay. Just in case anybody is watching for copyright infringement. I thought we'd have an attorney in the audience today. <laughs> He's not here yet, so I wanted to talk to him. Do we have an attorney? <laughs> no attorneys there. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the audience and let's say hello to our roving reporter, Sarah Martin. Very good. How's it going, everybody? Everyone having a good time? All right, we're live in the studio here today. How's it going over there? How's we're it going good. with you? Uh, so far, so good. The crowd is lively. We're giving away some giveaways. We're excited, right, guys? Yes. Yeah. You know, Sarah, Sarah co-hosts the show here on the Enravio Network called Divas on Demand, right? Divas on Demand. And Sarah yeah. is known as the uh, single ready-to-mingle part of the Divas on Demand. That's Correct. right, tingle ready to mi mingle, and my co-host is the uh, less ready to mingle part of the show. <laughs> Married and stuck, you know, ball and chain, so. So are you a football fan? Sure, or you I like care less? I like football. There you go. It's all right, you know, I don't hate it. I work at a sports bar on the side, you know. What bar? It's called Stadium Sports Bar and Grill in Holbrook. Ah, okay. We're Does not really mean? a grill, though, it's a lie. It's, it's a lie. more like a bar? <laughs> we have burgers, though. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that you grill them. <laughs> no. <laughs> microwave it's special. It's a microwave. That, <laughs> did, that didn't go good on the marquee, huh? <laughs> no, no. Mar microwave special. That's embarrassing. Okay. All right, so Sarah's going to be in the audience today. We're going to have Sammy Stone trivia today. Sammy Stone has prepared a series of questions, and the audience is going to be uh, taking a look at the questions. They're going to pick an answer, and if they guess right, 
What do they win? They win something. Probably uh, one the million choice of dollars? tickets no. at the Paramount Company. How many millions of dollars are we giving away? To <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just kidding. All right. So are you ready for this game tomorrow, or do you not care like me? I, I think I'm in the, your category there. I really don't care, you know? Well, let me tell you why I care, because I do care. I always care about the Super Bowl. To me, it always used to be the day after the Super Bowl was always a national holiday. Yeah, that's true. I always used to take the day after the Super Bowl off just because I had to. Are you doing that this week? No, because I won't have to. I won't be inebriated. <laughs> well, I may be, but I won't be taking the day off. I have a meeting at 8 o'clock Monday morning. 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock Monday. That's All the people who don't watch the Super Bowl will be at the meeting at 8 o'clock. Well, of course, if we were in North Carolina or Denver, it might be a different, different situation for us. Well, you know what? I, I mean, we talked about this on the show. You've got a team, Carolina, that's lost only one game mm -hmm. that is only favored, I think this was at six points? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. And you've got a team, Denver, who's got an aging quarterback who he could deny all he wants. But if he wins this game, if Denver comes out and somehow wins this game, he's riding off I would the ride sunset. I, I would do the same thing. This guy has, has had neck surgeries. Uh, he's been beaten to death all these years. I think he just wants to get one, only because his brother has two. That's right. Eli Manning has You two. think about, how, you know, I don't think there's any comparison to those guys as far as their, their records go. But, but like you say, Eli's got the, the two Super Bowl rings, and Peyton's only got one. Well, you know, what we're going to be doing today on this show is we're going to talk about the Carolina Panthers. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the Denver Broncos. We're going to get some of our correspondents to call in and give their predictions. We'll obviously have a Sammy Stone prediction. Can't wait for that. <laughs> we're going to find out what everyone, all 600 of the people in the audience think. I we're only showing you a little portion of the audience, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's true. I wonder what they're doing for the Super Bowl. Anybody got anything, any exciting thing planned for tomorrow? You know, we're going to, we're going to, let's, let's go back. Let's just see who's, who's, who's got, who's doing something in the audience. How about you? I'll be at the North Atlanta's Fire Department. Oh my goodness. Are you doing anything special for the Super Bowl? I think I'm going to get my nails done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Absolutely great. Can I join you? What are you doing? I think I'm packing to go to Florida. Oh, oh me too. Me too. When are you leaving? Next Friday. Woo! Have fun. And what about you? I'm getting my nails done too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joining you guys. This is great. This is great. And for the record, we actually have 601 people in the audience today. You forgot so that one special. Person. I guess with with all these football fans, these trivia questions are going to be really easy for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know what? What do you say we get started here? Let's gonna, do that. We're going to take a little break. We're just getting started. This is the Glory Days Big Game Extravaganza. What do you say? We're going to take an in-depth look at both teams competed for that coveted title of Super Bowl L. L? Yeah, it's 50. Yeah, I know. Uh, Joe Batania will join us after a short break, and he'll break down the Carolina Panthers. And then we'll see if we can coax our good buddy Pete Torgerson out of his depression long enough to talk about the team that beat his Patriots in the AFC Championship game. The Denver Broncos. Uh, stay with us. You're watching the Glory Day Show with Bruce Disco only on the In Radio TV Network. We're coming right back. Woo! All right.
over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Village Music Shop of Mastic. 1-800-HEY-DUDE, your full-service store with personalized attention, school band instrument rentals and sales, music instruction on all instruments for all styles and age groups, for guitars, drums, amplifiers, PA systems, and accessories. It's Village Music Shop, 1495 Montauk Highway in Mastic. Call 1-800-HEY-DUDE or go to villagemusicshop.com. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, Inravio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is Inravio.com. Welcome back to the Glory Day Show, Big Game Extravaganza with Bruce Lisko here on the Enravio TV Network. Uh, our first guest is a visitor from the north where they are a lot more used to snow than we are. Although his Packers were eliminated in the playoffs, there's no reason to believe he will be nearly as bitter as Pete Sorgerson will be later in the program. No, our next le guest is a level-headed, clear-thinking man, and he is ready to talk about the team that we really don't know that much about, the 17-1 Panther Carolina Panthers. Please welcome back from the great state of Wisconsin, Joe Batania. Joe, how are you? I'm really well. How's it going, man? All Good, righty, man. How are you? Did you guys, uh, you guys dealing with a lot of snow up there all year? or? Uh... Yeah, we always deal with a lot of snow. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we... Uh... We, we got some on uh, this week, but it could have been worse. They were expecting snowzilla, and it was just a, a little lizard instead, maybe three inches instead of uh, uh, a foot like they were talking about. But we're, we're okay. We're hardy folk up here. We, we've even recovered from the sadness of having our Packers get uh, knocked out so early in the playoffs. <laughs> well, we're, we're hardy folk here in the East, too. We just hate the snow. <laughs> you know, we got two feet last week, and then this entire week it was 60 degrees and 50 degrees. It all melted, and then uh, we were supposed to get a two-minute, a, a two-inch snow fall. Turned out to be almost a foot. Wow. And it was heavy, heavy and stuff. Heavy but let's stuff. talk about the Carolina Panthers here. So 17-1, uh, to it's a, it's a great record. Cam Newton, I guess, is the big story with them. He's probably going to be the MVP of the, uh, of the league. Um, I guess he's got a little controversy there going on with the fact that he likes to showboat after, after they score a TD, especially if he scores a TD. And uh, he's playing the race card, too. But, you know, that's really inconsequential. It's really about the game here. So there are six-point six favorites, I guess, is what they are? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So uh, talk about other, uh, Last line I saw was 5.5. 5, um, and, you know, between 5.5 5 and 6, depending if that's rich moving around. And um, uh, for what it's worth, uh, the, um, I was reading that three of the past four Super Bowls, the underdogs have gone on to win. So... Maybe it's something they shouldn't be so happy about, but yeah, they are. They are a six-point. They are a six-point favorite, five and a half to six-point favorite to win uh, tomorrow. I think the cerebral uh, money goes with them. I think the uh, the people that are betting with their heart want want to see uh, Peyton Manning right out into the sunset here. Yeah, I think. I mean, I mean, Peyton Manning. If if they do win, he'll be the oldest quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl. You know. Yeah, I think you're right. I I actually didn't didn't research that, but yeah, I think you're right. It's certainly not the oldest. Certainly one of the oldest, and. Uh, and there's no doubt he's a sentimental favorite to 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 go out on a to, to go out on a, on a on a win, whether he goes out or not. He hasn't really said whether he'd retire or not. Um, I'd say probably more likely if he wins, he does. You know, go out on a, go out on the high. But uh, yeah, I think the the smart money. Uh, I was looking at the um, at the expert prognosticators, and you know, I'd say probably 75 to 80 percent of them have Carolina winning, and they they actually have uh, have them winning by scores. 
similar to to what I think they'll they'll win, which will be a you know I I have them at a at a twenty four seventeen clip winning the game, and that's um, it, just based on the performance of both teams throughout the season. Well, they they uh, led the they the led the NFL football. in scoring this year. They they led the NFL in scoring this year. The Broncos are the number the one, one defense. defense you right, know? right, right. And and that's kind of what it's it, it's going to come down to. This first of all, I think Carolina is is got to be favored to win the game. All the the experts uh, the experts most of them have uh, well, experts quote unquote. Uh, I guess we might be called experts too. But uh, <laughs> well, we're uh, tuxedos, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, I saw that. We're wearing, very, we're wearing very tuxedos, impressive. but we're not experts. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So um, the um, yeah, somebody told me once that an uh, an expert is a. Uh, a stream of hot water under pressure, you know, has been. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I think the, the smart, like I said, the smart money is is definitely with Carolina. Um, and uh, but it, it's not one of those games where you say you know, it'll be a it'll be a, a miracle for the ages if Denver comes back and wins. Far, far from it. Um, I think that you have, you have two very good teams. The you know, uh, Denver uh, is the. Uh, number one passing defense and uh, number three rushing defense. Um, Carolina is the f- number four rushing defense uh, in the uh, 11th uh, passing defense. But um, you know, one, of, one of the things that might be a factor is the fact that Carolina has the, the league best uh, 52 sacks on, on defense. Right. And, and as I, I, what, what I did and kind of getting ready for today is I, I look back and, and see what, what happened when the, when the, the two teams lost their games, which, you know, didn't take long with Carolina because they only lost one. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, but Denver, um, the pattern I saw with, with Denver's losses is uh, their, their rushing game just didn't work. Right there, they had, uh, in their four losses, they had a total of 161 rushing yards a game. A, a total, so 40 yards a game. Wow. I mean, that's ridiculous. Their average season rushing is 107 yards. Um, and they and they were um, they were picked more often. Now, granted, some of those were by Osweiler, but they were picked more often, and they were sacked more often than their than their season average. So you've got a you've got a Carolina defense that uh, that is um, twenty four picks. Um, they led the league. Yeah, yeah, it led the league. And now um, Car- Carolina uh, uh, Denver leads the league in uh, in sacks with fifty two, uh, but. Um, the Car- uh, Carolina uh, has 44 sacks, so they're they're a team that that tends to get after the quarterback, generates a lot of sacks, and and gets a lot of interceptions, and and that's uh, you know that's that's basically how they how they beat uh, Arizona last week. They just uh, they had Carson Palmer uh, running for his life right. and, and making bad decisions uh, the the entire game, and so uh, that's that's if if they are able to do that, if they're able to shut down. Um, the, the Denver uh, rushing game and, and, and get him to being totally one-dimensional and, and making Peyton win the game for them and then get after him and put a lot of pressure on and, and, and complicated coverages. That there's some very good athletes out there who are going to get picks. Uh, they're probably going to win this game. Uh, now, gonna, I, I want to tell lost. you. I want to tell you the only statistic that matters here. Okay. Uh, Denver has been to four Super Bowl, has been to five Super Bowls. Yep. Okay. They are 0 and 4 when they wear orange. Okay. All right. All They're right. wearing white this year. Oh, okay. So, okay. And yeah. the Panthers will wear black. Now, ten of the last winning teams in the Super Bowl yeah. wore white. Do you know what team wore white when they lost? Who is that? The Carolina Panthers. Carolina. Oh, really? Yo, oh, this oh, guy. My. And I'm telling you, you won't get that <laughs> anywhere else. Okay? No, we sure we sure didn't. Okay. So I do my got, homework. We've, we've got we've got uh, we got Cam playing the race car. I don't know. I, I think I should say too. Disco, I'm, you ignorant I'm, slut. They're, they're not going to win. They are. The Broncos are not going to win, buddy. Well, yeah. you see, there's not many things that my co-host and I disagree on, but I uh, <laughs> I don't know about this Carolina team yet. They got to prove to me that they could win games. Okay, I, I think they're really, I mean, I think their defense, the Carolina defense, is underrated to a point. Okay, I, I, I agree that basically if this game becomes one-dimensional, and I think it will, Peyton Manning is a sitting duck. He can't run, 
And you know what? I don't care how many sacks Denver has, you know, they haven't faced a guy like Cam Newton who can really thing. run, man. That, that right. to me is a biggie. Yeah, there's one other thing that I think is pretty critical for this game, which is, uh, you know, I, Carolina will win the game if they remember that football games have two halves and four quarters. Right, right. And they'll lose if they forget that there are two halves and four quarters. I mean, in the, in the, they had, there were three games where they had big leads um, against the Colts, um, against us, against Green Bay, yeah. and then against uh, the Giants. And in, in those games, though, there are three games that they won by close scores, but in the, in the second half against the, uh, the, against the Colts, the Colts put up 20 points in the second half to 12 from Carolina, 17 in the fourth quarter to 6 for Carolina. Right. Against us, uh, we put up 22 on them. They only put up 10. And in the fourth quarter, we had 15. They had 7. Um, and then against the Giants, it was, I mean, the fourth quarter against the Giants, 21 for the Giants and 3 for Carolina. I mean, right. so they, they outscored in both playoff games. They jumped on the teams early. They outscored them 55 to 7 in the first half of those right. games. And although, you know, one team, uh, um, the first team they played came back, uh, Arizona really didn't come back. Yeah, obviously. Seattle came back, too. Well, Seattle, Seattle, though, Seattle came back. Seattle, Seattle almost back. had them. Yeah. Right. And, Seattle uh, almost had them. Now, last week, they, they, uh, they just absolutely uh, thumped on Arizona and, and kept thumping right till, the, till the, 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 the final, you know, second ticked off the clock. But, I mean, realistically, and I, I think they'll do this because uh, I, I suspect that they they, re, they, re, they realize this. They're not they're not they're not dumb. They they know what happened. Their coaching staff, I'm sure, Rivera got on them about this, uh, and they they played four quarters and they were fine. But they've done this twice, and that and that worries me. That's one of the that's one of the variables that that just kind of concerns me for Carolina, is that if they if they're up you know by 21 at at halftime. And uh, and then they kind of get complacent. and They start celebrating their their Super Bowl victory. Uh, you know, you're you're facing Peyton Manning. You're facing one of the elite quarterbacks all time in this league, and the quarterback in a very good team. They could come back, and then you know who knows what's going to happen. Now, uh, if you saw the Madden uh, simulation, yes. the Madden simulation actually has uh, uh, Denver coming back and taking the lead, and then uh, Cam driving them down and and running for a touchdown to to win the game at the at the end. So we'll see, but. Uh, Again, I, I, I think Carolina, uh, as long as they take care of business, do what they have to do, have what it takes to, to win the game, to win a close game probably, I'd say 24 to 17 is my prediction. All right, Joe. So Joe says Carolina, 24-17. Yes, sir. All right, Joe, I'm writing that down. Because All right. If you're right, you could be in the drawing for the $1 million. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry, you can't be because you're a guest of the show. There you go. There you go. That's Speaking right. of guests of the show, I think we have time to do a trivia question. And we're going to do, do that. Think? Joe, Joe, thanks a lot for taking the time with us. Have fun tomorrow. All right. All right. And have keep a good the, one, guys. Keep the snow up there, thanks, will Joe. you? Yeah, we, we'll, keep, we'll try to keep it up here, although I know it seems to be enjoying visiting you guys. And, hey, I love the tuxes. You look great. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. All righty, man. Thanks. Let's go to Sarah over there. Okay. She's out there with the studio audience. They've been kind of quiet, man. Let's hear some noise. All right. All right. <laughs> All righty, so how are we going to decide who, who takes that first question? Uh, right. Depends who knows the answer. <laughs> well, really? Okay. So, right. so throw us a question we'd like to... Right. There's, there's Questions the behind you. Oh, pick I'm just pick a studio audience here. Yeah. All right. A member from the studio audience. Anybody want to take a shot at it? Okay, John Fox has an odd distinction. He was the head coach the last time both of these teams teams played in the Super Bowl. Besides Fox, which coach recently took two teams to the Super Bowl as a head coach? Okay, now, now Sammy Stone is going to tell you whether you get it right or not, but this is a oh. very easy answer. Oh, okay, well then. Somebody take one. Okay, Somebody Big Bath, let's go. <laughs> first one, that guy, Tony Dundee. All right, Sammy Stone. Let's see if that's correct. Did he get the right answer? I'm thinking, yeah. There you go. Congratulations. All righty. All righty. Now, for tax purposes, you need to give us your name so that we make sure that you declare your winnings. Okay, now the Paramount... On, on, the, uh, uh, on your income tax return. For those of you that don't know, the Paramount is a great place to see a show out in uh, Huntington, Long Island. And you, my friend, are getting two tickets. You are getting two tickets to the choice, to your show of, the, of choice. Okay. Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, May Day Parade, Mike Del Weiss, Del Weiss, Del Weiss, and uh, Big Shot. That's Big Shot. 
Oh, big shot. Oh, big Marshall shot. Tucker. Big shot. Marshall Tucker. Big shot it is. The actual Blues Brothers, Dan Aykroyd, and um, I guess it's a... Uh, it's not the actual Blues Brothers. It's his brother. Yeah. No, no, it's, yeah, it's yeah, the Jim brother. Belushi. Jim Belushi and the cult. Yeah. So you get your choice of whichever ones you want, because you got that right. Whoever it was, I got it right. All right. All right. We're going to take a break here on the Glory Days Big Show Extravaganza. When we get back, we'll look at that other team that expects to show up on Sunday, the Denver Broncos. Broncos. Hopefully, we'll have a slightly coherent Pete Torgerson to talk about them with us. Stay with us. You're watching the Glory Days Show with Bruce Disco only on the Radio TV Network. Coming right back. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in Radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Radio.com. For over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Village Music Shop of Master. 1-800-HEY-DUDE, your full-service store with personalized attention, school band instrument rentals and sales, music instruction on all instruments for all styles and age groups, for guitars, drums, amplifiers, PA systems, and accessories. It's Village Music Shop, 1495 Montauk Highway in Master. Call 1-800-HEY-DUDE or go to villagemusicshop.com. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in Radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Radio.com. Hey, this is Chris Lust Jake, and if in Ravio.com spots you at an event wearing this bracelet, they will give you $100. Just it up. Yep. Woo! Okay. Welcome back to the Glory Days Big Game Extravaganza with Bruce and Disco here on the Radio TV Network. You see, they get excited when they win prizes. Why not? I, I would too. I see, would they, too. they thought we were kidding. <laughs> but Don't we actually have, to have prizes. There's always a disclaimer about if you're an employee of the radio station, you can't win, right? Oh. Is that true? No, but wait a minute. Employees get paid. I know, I know, I know. That, that was key there. That was, that was key there. So, so I think we're all eligible. <laughs> and that right there in the middle is our good pal Joe Lawson. Joe, take a bow. All right. You can see Joe every Monday on the five on five off five on five off five on show. Do you remember what that means? Yes. You take those nuts off and then you put them the back on, right? On. For the uh, for the spare tires, right? It's a great it's a great racing show. What about Tony Stewart, man? <laughs> right? It's his last year, and now he's, and now he's hurt his back. He, and it, it's, it's an L1 uh, problem. That's the, the lumbar in the part of the back, and uh, he'll, he'll be out for a long time. But know. You know, last year, they, they made concessions for Kyle Busch. It's fixed. And, uh, it's fixed. <laughs> and they'll, let, they'll let Tony Stewart do it if he's eligible. Fixed. So what, what do you think? Do you think he races this year at all? Mid-season at best. Oh, really? Ooh, okay. okay. That's my opinion. I, I, I'm sure that the, with the doctors that they have, and, and NASCAR needs them out there, and the, the sponsors need them out there, they'll speed that up. Well, now, you know, Peyton Manning came back from a, a, a back, a neck injury. I don't know if it was L1, though. No. Yeah. Well, well you know, you, you look it was at L. these guys. It certainly you, you look, like Jeff, like Gordon. Jeff Gordon retired because he has back issues. 
Mark Martin, if you see him walking in a garage area, his, his torso is here and his legs are here. Wow. Is that because of all the sitting? It's from the wrecks, you know, getting beaten, banged, and oh. you know, I broke my back in a race car. It still hurts. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Uh, but it was good. We'll, we'll see Tony Stewart back. Wish okay. him well. So there's celebrities in the audience today, but uh, we got a celebrity on the phone right now. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to do the trivia question. Okay. Let's do the trivia question. Okay. All right. Who would like to take this trivia question? All right, guys. Are you ready for this one? Okay. This is Denver's eighth Super Bowl appearance, which ties them with the Patriots, Steelers, and Cowboys for the most ever. How many franchises have not appeared in a single Super Bowl? Oh, oh. Joe's got the answer. Oh, we got an answer here. I think it's four. He thinks, he it's, thinks four. it's four. So well, it's the letter C. All right, so Are we correct? you're saying the letter C. Let's see what our good pal Sammy Stone has to say. Sammy Stone, did he get the right answer? Guaranteed. There yeah, go. very good, right, Joe. There you go. <laughs> tell, tell him what he wins. All right. Now you get your choice of a of a show at the Paramount. Uh, we already talked about what they are, you so can we'll pick catch you later. after we'll the show. Let's on. get uh, Pete Torgerson on the this phone. This could be the stupidest uh, <laughs> trivia contest ever. But uh, in instead, since we can't get a hold of Pete Torgerson, let's talk to our good pal Trey Looney, shall we? Okay. Trey, you there? Yes, sir. Hey, Good morning, Trey. Man. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are y'all doing this morning? We're doing okay. Trey is from the great state of Texas. And although his Houston uh, Texans got beat in the wild card game this year. They didn't look too good, did they? They did not look good. Actually, I don't no, think we had you back not. on the show after that, Trey. And we're sorry about that. No, Trey, you were, too, you were too depressed to come back on the show after that. I, pretty much, um, and and I've been uh, looking forward to pitchers and catchers reporting here. In, uh, yeah, of course, <laughs> as are we. So I know I know uh, we weren't going to talk too much about um, the Denver Broncos, but uh, let's talk about the Denver Broncos with you. How do you how do you, how do you feel about that? Sure, sure. Um, well, you know, uh, Denver kind of gets into this uh, Super Bowl. Um, I know that Peyton has not. Uh, played his best this season, but he certainly played his best this season late. Um, they like to win uh, close and late. Um, they keep the games close with that defense, and uh, I think they're going to have to do some of the same things they've done all year long in, uh, in winning games in order to, to make this a contest, too. Um, I think they're keys to the win. Um, they're going to need to run the ball effectively. Uh, they're going to need to roll the clock. Um, they're going to need to frustrate uh, Cam Newton as well um if they keep it close that that's the possibility uh, so um and they're also gonna have to rely on the field the field goals and the, the field position so well they uh they're also you know this is the this is the first time two quarterbacks who were both a number one overall pick right are playing in a super bowl together be nice if they were a little closer in age you know i think i think age it's also i believe it's the largest age discrepancy also is it in the Super Bowl, I think I think Trey, I agree with you in in the fact that obviously they need to keep it close. They do not have an offense that can come back from a twenty-one nothing deficit. But I don't believe that their defense is going to allow that this game to get out of hand. I do. I no, think they're going to get. I think Denver's going to get killed. I really do. <laughs> Despite well, them wearing white, this go okay, you know. Yeah, Jane, you that misguided, <laughs> ignorant slut. Well, well, we'll talk on Monday. We'll <laughs> see. Well, there's, there's a couple of keys for Carolina, too, on this. Um, and and you know, although they, they've got a lot of star power on defense, um, with Davis being injured, right. uh, I, I would imagine they're going to they're gonna run right at him uh, to start the game. And um, I don't know about you, but if, if, if I had four screws in, in my arm, um, that, that's going to make for a long afternoon. I think he's got a screw loose in his head, too, but that's a, <laughs> that's a different story, I guess. You know. <laughs> but you know what? There's just something about these, these Denver Broncos. I, I just don't know what it is. They, they've been winning all the close games. Yeah. Okay? They've won 11 games by seven or fewer points this year. Okay? Uh, it's the most by any team uh, in the Super Bowl era. Okay, so since 67, 68, it's the most any team has ever won. Uh, they just seem to be able to keep the games close 
and just get it done. And, and in a Super Bowl, that's usually what you need to yeah, do. Yeah. I mean, that's the key is keeping it close. If, if they keep it close, you know, anything can happen in the fourth quarter there. I just... I just don't see that happening, though. I, I don't, I, again, I just don't think that Denver's defense, as good as it is, has faced somebody that can run like, like uh, Cam Newton. Yeah, but if all they have to do is contain him. No, it's not just containing him. I don't think so. What do you think? I, 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 <laughs> unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I, you always hope for a close game. You always hope for a good game. I think it's going to be a blowout. All I right. think by... Half time, people are going to be going home from wherever they are. You know? <laughs> take out well, the coffee, take out the coffee and, uh, and cake. You know, make it an early night. If the game night, is a know? blowout, if the game is a blowout, it's definitely going to be Carolina doing the blowing out. Um, and he, he, there's a lot of similarities to this one when Denver faced Seattle um, a few That's years right. back. So, but I, 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 I kind of agree that that I think it's going to be close too. Um, I think the Denver kicks uh, a number of field goals that, and, and their defense is able to frustrate uh, Cam a little bit. And as long as they're able to run that clock. Um, so my, my final score prediction here mm -hmm. is uh, Den Denver 26, Carolina 24. Wow. Thank you, Trey. That's why we invite you on the show all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you got to agree with one of us. Okay. <laughs> So Trey, well, thanks for uh, thanks for calling in. I think maybe we'll go for one more trivia question. Can we do that before? Hey Trey, uh, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. All right, hey, we appreciate y'all. See, y'all have a good one, okay? And, All righty. And tomorrow is the National Day of Morning for the end of football season. But yes, baseball season. Like I say, thirteen days, and catch baby. Start pretty quick, <laughs> right? Like thirteen days. <laughs> back on the show when we start going around the league, talking about and we'll talk about the Houston Astros there, okay? You Bye, got next, it. Trey. You okay. got it. All right. All right. All right, man. All right, we're going back to the studio that. audience there. I think. But one more trivia question? Can we do that? Sure, let's do right, another maybe, trivia question. One more question. trivia question here, guys. All right, the Panthers have not won a Super Bowl as a franchise. They lost to the Patriots on a last-second field goal in their only appearance. How many current organizations have not won a Super Bowl? Okay, so your choice is oh, all. Oh, I'm going to go with D9. Is it D9? D9? Guys? All right. Well, Sammy nine? Stone will tell you, is he right or wrong? Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, wait a minute, but here's the thing about the Glory Day show. I, where's the, do we have music for an extra answer? All right, who wants to give it a go? Oh, you know it. All right, be we smart with this one. 13. All right, Sammy Stone, oh, did she get the right answer? Oh. And I believe there's a band right? Awesome, congratulations. I was going to give you a hint. Good job. Good you job. You answered too fast. There you go. All right. All right. This is really fun. I'm enjoying this. All right. You've heard the analysis, and it's been kind of dry so far. It has been. We've been going with numbers and things like that, other than who's wearing white. But you've heard the analysis. Let's get down to some real predictions. Okay. We'll hear from some of our other Glory Day correspondents in our studio audience and get their predictions when we come right back. You're watching the fifth annual Glory Day's Big Game Extravaganza on the Radio TV Network. All right. For over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered.
the world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in Radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Ravio.com. Hey, this is Chris Les Jake, and if in Ravio.com spots you at an event wearing this bracelet, they will give you $100. Welcome back to the Glory Days Big Game Extravaganza with Bruce Disco here on the Arabia Tony with our fabulous live studio audience. I think there's something in that coffee, man. They're getting louder, I think. You know, I think they've been drinking a little bit there. You know? All right. It's prediction time here at uh, Glory Days. We have a couple of correspondents that have been contributors all season long, and we'd like to give them a couple of minutes to vent and then kind of give us their expert opinion on what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to the first guy, okay? The first guy. Well, it's is, now our uh, second guy. Okay. Yeah, well, go ahead. He's All right, it's a, uh, our Seattle correspondent who's defending NFC champion Seahawks were ousted by the Panthers in the NFC uh, championship game. Do you think he's bitter because the Hawks missed an opportunity to get back to back to back Super Bowls? Probably. Let's find out. Please welcome Joey Segor. Hey, Joey, how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. good morning out there. I know you didn't feel good today, so we really appreciate you uh, coming up and giving us a uh, giving us a few minutes of An your time here. An expert prediction. All right. So, who's going to win and why? Uh, you know what? I I hate to say it, but I think the Panthers are going to win it. Uh, they remind me a lot of the uh, 2013 Seahawks. They're young. They're loud. They're just pretty much unstoppable. Um, they're yeah. Their defense is just fast-paced and with Cam Newton's ability to make plays happen, uh, I don't see Denver stopping them whatsoever. Why you think it's going to be a blowout or do you think it's going to be a close game? What's that? I think it's going to be a blowout or a close game. Uh, I think, I think uh, my, my prediction is 38-13, Carolina. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm with you. Now, why, why, yeah. Couldn't, why couldn't Seattle's defense stop him? Um, I just I just think they had too many mistakes early and uh, not not enough time to kind of gather themselves. Um, I mean, as you saw after halftime, they I mean they pretty game. much shut out Carolina for sure. Um, but I, yeah, just early mistakes and you know you can't can't really uh, come back from that. Well, is there any chance that Carolina does not win this game? Um, I I, I think it's very slim. Um, I mean. Just watching Peyton Manning this year uh, or this season, I just I just don't see it in him. I mean, I w I, w I really wish that he would uh, pull this one out. And uh, I, I believe Eli has has two Super Bowl wins, yes. so I really hope that uh, Peyton can get up there and get up the same level as Eli because I I really feel Peyton's uh, definitely a better quarterback, and you know, well, you he, know he definitely with his career he definitely deserves to uh, to win the Super Bowl. You know, the odds of a Denver-Carolina Super Bowl were 184 to 1 at the beginning really? of the season. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe, we, maybe that's what we should do with that DeLorean. You know, I, I, I always time. wonder what happens when the Peytons get together for Thanksgiving dinner, you know? You think, you think Eli says, I got two and you only got one? No, I think, he, <laughs> I think Eli goes like this. Uh, can you pass the butter? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think he does. Hey, Joey, yeah. thanks a lot for All taking right. the time to help us out. I'm, we'll, with, I'm with you, my friend. And uh, let's see, I think I, I we'll, answered a uh, question last time. Mother Love Bone, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, or Soundgarden. Uh, yeah. And I think your answer was Pearl Jam. Is that right? Yeah, yep, that, that's correct. All right. All righty. So we'll, uh, we'll see you again at the baseball extravaganza coming up in April. All right. Can't wait for it. All right. All right thanks, thanks Joey. All right, All right, we're going to go for a, a trivia question. Okay, what's the next trivia question? All right, is everyone ready? All righty, let's do it. No team has ever won 19 games in a season, but three others have won 18. Two of them were the 2007 Patriots and the 1985 Bears that Ron Rivera played for. Which squad is the third? You got this? C. 
Let's see, Sammy Stone, did she get the right answer? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, great job. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. <laughs> you. you win a prize. All right. All righty. You Are you glad you came or what? Okay, you won some tickets. Beautiful. Okay. All righty. All right, do we have another correspondent on the phone? All right. Give the thumbs up from the uh, booth there. All right, next up is our Pittsburgh correspondent who makes his home in Columbus, Ohio. His team was ousted by one of the Super Bowl teams, so let's see if he's still holding a grudge. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, please welcome Mark Hogan. Mark, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good, guys. How are you? Good, doing okay, guys. man. So, who's winning and why? Well, uh, you know, I watched the Broncos about four or five times this year. I'm just not impressed. I think uh, Peyton's too old, and I think that uh, Carolina's uh, definitely going to break down that pocket and get to him. So, uh, Cam Newton's just Superman. I got to go. Uh, I got to go with the Panthers. But now, uh, can, can we just go back two years? Okay, in 2013, I don't think there was a person on the planet who thought that that high-scoring Denver offense wasn't going to win that Super Bowl. And all it took was one bad play. The, actually, I guess the first play of first the game. First play of the game was a uh, uh, snap that went over Peyton Manning's head, and it was a safety. And that so was the end of the game, think, really. So, Mark, you're going with Carolina. What's the score going to be? Is it going to be a blowout or a close game? You know, I'm more with Bruce. Uh, I, I'm going to go Carolina, 30, Broncos, uh, 17. Now, right. I'm looking at your Facebook post there. You said 24-17, so how quickly you change your uh, mind here, <laughs> my friend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's hedging his best. Oh, it's Joe Bartania. I'm sorry. Another, I'm, 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 I'm no, he's looking at the wrong post. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that I've was... Been, I've been in that coffee, too, I guess. I don't know. I think that, it, that was uh, Joe Botania's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, dinner. it was. Okay. Hey, so, Mark, do you know that four of the last five Super Bowls came down to the last play? Yeah, they've been pretty close, but uh, I don't see that happening on this one. Yeah. Ooh. All righty. I like so, that 38-13 Because score. you're going with Carolina, unfortunately, this will be your last appearance. <laughs> <laughs> on the glory day. Well, I think I have something to say with that. He's, he's going with me. <laughs> Joe, you can come back anytime you walk. You can come back anytime you want to. I am going to be wearing a Denver Broncos jersey next week when no. they win the game. Oh, yeah? You Underneath my t-shirt. You'll be wearing ties. And I'm going to go like this like Cam Newton thinks he's going <laughs> to okay. do. All right. All righty, Mark. Thanks, thanks Mark. a lot. All right. Thanks, guys. And we'll All talk right. to you during the baseball extravaganza. All right. I'll be there. All righty, we're going to go to another trivia question, another Sammy Stone trivia question. All right, here we go. Everyone ready? Everyone knows that the Green Bay Packers won the first two Super Bowls in 1967 and 1968. What teams did they beat? Anybody know? You got this? Joe, you already won. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, nice. I'll, I'll try A. He's going for A. All right, Kansas let's see. City in Oakland. Is I would it, say he's right. Well, let's see what Sammy Stone You're says. In the city in Oakland? Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, congratulations. Very good. Nice job. All righty. We have All another right. correspondent on the phone? All right, we got the Alrighty. thumbs up there. Okay. Last but not least, it's a former in radio personality who co hosted a fantasy football show here on this network. Unfortunately for him, he's still living in a fantasy world. Let's see what he thinks who is going to win the big game. Please welcome. The Admiral, Mike Ferrara. Hey, Mike, how are you? Disco, Mr. B, how are you guys? All right. You, you checking us out here with our ties, man, or what? <laughs> well, listen, are, are you guys headed to the opera after the show? <laughs> <laughs> Overture. <laughs> What's black, white, and red all over? Black, white, red all over. A nun falling down the stairs reading the newspaper. Two guys in tuxedos without any joke. Uh, <laughs> without any jokes, come Wait on. Wait a minute. I, I think we're having a problem with the audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikey, so who do you think is going to win this game? All right, I'm going to take you through my thought process here. Uh, going inside my head can be a dangerous place, but, uh, but give me a second here. There's a lot to like about the Denver Broncos. You know, you talked about it, number one overall defense, number mm -hmm. one against the pass, number two against the run. I'm feeling you, brother. 
What's that? I'm feeling you, brother. Keep going. Yeah, 3.3 yards per carry again. A um, lot of talent on the defense. This is a defense that has shut down Tom Brady twice this year. They shut down Rodgers. They, you know, they beat both of those guys multiple times. And guess what? They've got a guy named Peyton Manning as their quarterback. They've got weapons. They've got Emmanuel Sanders. They've got Demarius Thomas. Okay, Mr. D, here's where I go with you, brother. It ain't going to matter. That's and right. The there matter. you go. <laughs> okay. If you guys remember, you had me on your show back when we did the fantasy football preview, mm -hmm. and I talked about the young upcoming quarterbacks and the changing of the guard that was going to happen this year, and I said Manning will no longer be the elite guy, and it, we're going to be changing the guard, and it's going to be guys like Russell Wilson, and it's going to be Cam Newton, and I was correct. If you look at that Manning stats this year, he was horrible. Nine touchdowns, 17 interceptions. This is a team that won on defense. You know, Disco, you brought it up before. 11 of their 14 wins, including the postseason, came by seven or less points. Yep. That is not going to happen against that Cam Newton offense. It is just not going to happen against an offense that had a high of 31 points per game. Okay, what's going to happen in this game, and I'm totally with you, Bruce, it's going to be a blowout. Okay, Carolina, their defense is no slouch either. Okay, they led the league in turnovers. They led the league in interceptions. Look what they did to Carson Palmer last week. They beat Seattle 31-24 to in the first postseason game, and then they crushed the Arizona Cardinals 49-15. to Those are teams with very good defenses, too. It's not going to matter today, guys. I'm looking at a score here of at least 31-17, and I'm being conservative. I don't want to, you know... I don't want to predict a, uh, a complete total blowout, but it, it's not going to be a close game. Thirty-one seventeen is a pretty big blowout. Well, let me hey, tell you something. I, 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 wanna, I, I just want to. I just want to remind you something about. It doesn't matter how good you performed during the season or even in the playoffs. When you get to a championship game, and we know this as Met fans now, okay? Yes, we do. It's different, okay? The team who with uh, either veteran experience or who has been there before is going to perform better in the championship game, okay? The Kansas City Royals proved that. Last year, they were a fantastic team. The year before, I mean, sorry, they were a fantastic team. Couldn't win the World Series. This year, they showed the Mets what it's going to take to win the World Series. That's why, by the way, the Mets are going to win this World Series this year. Okay, oh, and I that's also why Denver's got 18 guys on that team with Super Bowl experience. Okay, Seattle has, I mean, Carolina has seven. Okay, I think big game, you need a guy that's going to perform, a guy who's ready to do it, and a guy who knows that if he wins this game, he's going out, he's riding out on a Bronco. You're telling me Denver's going to win this game? Yes. Absolutely, my friend. Disco, <laughs> disco, disco. Listen, man. I'm going to hang on the phone after the show, and you and I can make a little side wage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to make a side wage. I tell you what. We want, first of all, I want to just want to real quick promote your show coming up. You have a, your band, Anna Jam. Oh, well, thank you for that opportunity. Yes, yes, Anna Jam. We are a tribute to the women of rock. It's a great show. Uh, we're playing actually on May 13th. We'll play before then, but our big show uh, coming up is May 13th at the Smithtown Center for the Performing Arts. Uh, if you're interested, check out our website, www.annajamband.com. All right, I tell you and, what. If, uh, if, you can if, uh, you can purchase tickets there. Okay, if, if Denver wins this game, you have to come on next week and kiss my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'll, I'll make that bet, and I'll give you the five and a half points. Okay. <laughs> All righty, Mike. Thanks for taking All the time right. this morning. Guys, thanks a lot. A lot of fun. Looking forward to the, uh, the baseball preview. Yeah. Beautiful. You too, man. Thank you. Take care, Admiral. All right, we're going to go back to the trivia. Which one's this? <clears throat> How'd we get to this question? Uh oh All right. Take it away, Sarah. All right, we'll try and figure this one out. Excuse me. Sorry. Go ahead. For the third straight year, the top seeds from both 
conferences play in the Super Bowl. Before this current streak, the top seeds have met just once in 20 years. Can you name that Super Bowl? Let's see if you know the answer. Who hasn't gotten a chance to go yet? Let's see if you know the answer. Chuck, you haven't had a chance to go. <laughs> Chuck can't win. He owns the tickets. <laughs> Let's give Antonio another chance to win. Give Antonio a chance. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Oh, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is C. Who won? We all, right. uh, all won. Okay. All right. It's a group effort. All right. <laughs> we are just about out of time here on the Glory Days Big Game Extravaganza. We're going to take a small break, and when we come back, we'll wrap things up with our studio audience. Stay with us. You're watching the Glory Days show with Bruce and Disco here on the Radio TV Network. We'll be right back. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in Radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Radio.com. For over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Village Music Shop of Master. 1 800 Hey Dude, your full service store with personalized attention, school band instrument rentals and sales, music instruction on all instruments for all styles and age groups, for guitars, drums, amplifiers, PA systems, and accessories. It's Village Music Shop, 1495 Montauk Highway in Master. Call 1 800 Hey Dude or go to villagemusicshop.com. Shop of Master. 1 800 Hey Dude, your full service store with personalized attention, school band instrument rentals and sales, music instruction on all instruments for all styles and age groups, for guitars, drums, amplifiers, PA systems, and accessories. It's Village Music Shop, 1495 Montauk Highway in Master. Call 1 800 Hey Dude or go to villagemusicshop.com. Here on the Radio TV Network. So we have a live studio audience today. We have the lovely and talented Sarah here today. What did we learn today? Did anybody learn anything today? No. I would say live TV is a lot tougher than when you're just sitting in the studio all by yourself. Okay. <laughs> I learned that we can't depend on Pete Torgerson anymore. <laughs> just kidding, Pete. We know how depressed you are over the whole thing. But 
one thing we did learn today is that just about everybody is picking the Carolina Panthers. Except for you. Well, let's find out what the rest of our audience is. And let's see, one by one, let's see who thinks they're going to win the game and, and what, the score, and what the score will be. All right, who do you think is going to win the game and what the score will be? I think Carolina by 10, I say 27-17. Ooh. All right, and for you? I say the Carolina 38-17. Um, 38-17. I like that one. Carolina, let's say 22-39, something Ooh. like that. Carolina's going to win. It's going to be a complete shutout. Oh. <laughs> oh, shut out. Oh. All right, and for you? Uh, I predict Denver. I was going to go with Carolina, but I think Denver, and Denver. it's going to be really close. It's going to come down to one point. It's going to be the field goal, and that's it. Overtime. Watch. It'll be a good game. All right. You had to be different, right? I'm just kidding. Oh, this is the way I feel. <laughs> Who's ever the hungriest that day? Denver, 37-21. Right. That's why you wow. guys are in the what front row. <laughs> I'm going to say it's going to be Denver, and it's going to be close. There you All go. All right. There we go. All right. Let's see, Sammy Stone, Adam. tell me the future. Okay, ask me. Will Denver win the Super Bowl? It ain't likely. Yeah. So that there means go. Denver's going to win. Oh my <laughs> I, think, I think Peyton Manning is going out on top. This is the big game. This is the type of thing that his entire career has been. Not many players yeah. get a chance to go out on top. You know, I'd be really surprised if they lost and he didn't retire. Yeah. I would not be surprised if they won and he did retire. I think Peyton Manning is going off in a stretcher. It's what I think is going to happen. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to be a blowout. I think it's going to be 55 to 55. 14. 55? 55 to 14. All right. What are you going to do next week if they lose, if Carolina doesn't win? That's not going to happen. I have to worry about that. All right. That is not right. <laughs> I think, I know Denver's going to win. I am placing money. No, I'm not putting any money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't trust that. All right. I guess that's it, right? We out of time? He's going like this. What does All that right, mean? Right. <laughs> no. woo, woo, woo. All right. Let's go. One we want to say thanks to our, uh, our producers, Kyle Melnick and Eric McIliffe, and nothing is working there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, for all their hard work and making us look so good out here. Uh, thanks to our co-host, the lovely and talented Sarah Martin. When you can see her, she's one of the co-hosts on the Divas on Demand, which you can see right here on the Enradio TV network. A particular night? Uh, yes, it's actually Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesday night, and I want you to say that I was right about the Denver Broncos. I might not say that. <laughs> you are not gonna have, you don't you have to worry about that. You thought was gonna win, by the way. Listen, because my teams aren't there, so. Okay. Let's not get uh, personal here. <laughs> All right, you. we also want to thank our uh, correspondents, Joe Batania, for helping us out with the team previews, and uh, Trey Looney, and of course, all of our fearless prognosticators Joey Segor, Mark Hogan, and Mark Ferrara, Mike Ferrara. And thanks to all the other of you guys that couldn't be with us today. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all you do to make this the number one Glory Days internet show in the world. There you go. Thanks again, Chuck and Bonnie, putting up with this nonsense week after week and allowing us to bring you this type of quality programming. And, of course, thanks to you, our loyal viewers. Uh, don't forget, check out Glory Days on the On Demand page, www.radio.com. You can watch any of our past shows or any of the other great shows on the Enradio.com TV network. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game tomorrow, and I hope you win a lot of money. Stay safe. Use a cab service if you have to, and we'll see you all next time. Go Broncos! Peyton Manning! He's <laughs> going out the sunset! Yeah. <laughs> all right.